Kenyans in major towns who still do, do not have uh, set-top boxes for the digital TV signal will be staring at blank television screens starting midnight tonight. The Communications Authority made the shocking announcement this afternoon after the Supreme Court delivered a ruling in the case where the three major media houses had challenged on digital migration date. Katie and Samogina explains. The countdown is on, and for the first time, the real impact of the confusion in the digital migration process will finally have its impact. Kenyans across major towns, lacking digital set-top boxes in the country, face television blackout from Friday midnight. The Communications Authority of Kenya is effecting the analog switch-off for the first two phases from midnight. The affected areas will be in Nairobi and its environs that had been selected to be switched off on the 30th of December 2014 before it was contested in court. Any broadcaster still on the analog uh, platform after midnight today will be doing so illegally and the authority shall take regulatory action against them. Other major towns in the country also face the midnight television blackout. The towns include Mombasa, Malindi, Nyeri, Meru, Kisumu, Webuye, Kakamega, Kisi, Nakuru, Eldoret, Nyahururu, Machakos, Narok and Rongai. The towns listed on the second phase of digital migration whose switch of debt had been set for the 2nd of February. I urge all Kenyans to have who have uh, not made arrangements to tran transit to the digital platform to do so as to continue viewing their uh, variety of TV programs and the diversity in the nature that has come with the digital migration. The Communications Authority was jolted into action by a Supreme Court ruling early in the day that upheld the authority's digital migration debts. The authority now says it shall repossess all analog frequencies from all television stations on Saturday morning and whoever does not comply will be shut down forcefully. It's clear to us that following the judgment of the court and the appropriate acts of compliance which have been summarized in this ruling, the stage was properly set for migration from the analog to the digital platform in broadcast transmissions. To enforce the switch off, including forceful switch off, any time after midnight today, if no station in Nairobi and the other areas that I've announced in phase two will have switched off their analog transmitters. In its ruling setting the stage for digital migration, the Supreme Court directed the Communications Authority of Kenya to reinstate digital frequencies for three media houses, KTN, Citizen and NTV. Nonetheless, the ruling granting digital migration the green light ahead of its March 30th, 2015 deadline was contested by the lawyer representing the media houses, saying it may plunge the country into a television blackout. For the avoidance of doubt, the first appellant is to restore the authorization for self-provisioning digital signal distribution and the several digital frequencies it has granted to the said respondents, if it has not already done so. I've already said the date for migration remains as set by the Communications Authority. And of course, good records are very important. We we'll do the best we can, but that date is not practical. A switch-off deadline of March 30th, 2015 was set to put Kenya on the digital platform ahead of the international target of June 17th, 2015. Samogina KTN.